Imagine, if you will, a safety bar on the grip of a double action revolver that keeps the gun from firing until the bar is pressed. When do you think that was first offered? Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and I've got a Smith & Wesson 32 Safety Hammerless first model made in Springfield, Massachusetts. Let's take a look at this neat little revolver. Nickel is the most common finish. Notice that there isn't a hammer, at least there isn't one you can see, which makes it double action only, of course. The trigger is smooth, five shot fluted cylinder. This is a round butt design with checkered rubber grips, and here is the special safety bar. The barrel is three and a half inches long, the sights are fixed, and really, really fine. The 32 Safety Hammerless was introduced in 1888 and remained in production for 14 years with a little over 90,000 produced. All were chambered for the 32 Smith & Wesson cartridge. The serial number on our gun today is in the 16,000 range, which dates it to the early 1890s. Let me show you how it works. Can you see this little checkered button? Press it with your thumb and tip the barrel down at the same time to load and unload. We call this a top brake design. Notice that the trigger cannot be pulled until the safety bar is pressed. After firing, open the gun and the empties are automatically ejected. So there you have it, the Smith & Wesson 32 Safety Hammerless first model. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. That's the way it is.